Good evening from Belltown. Just got dinner at Umi Saki House. That place was packed. And uh, just gonna walk around a couple of blocks here to give you a sense of what Belltown looks like in late July 2021. This is Amber, a once really popular bar lounge. Looks to be closed. Sad. I don't know if they're closed. Looks like they are. Yeah. I'm gonna point out to you some some places we like to eat at. So Umisaki House, where we just came from, definitely like eating there. This is one of our favorites here. A local favorite, for sure, Ohana. And they're open. Door is wide open for you to come and enjoy good food and drinks with friends. So people like to ask me, you know, where should we eat? Where should we eat by uh Oh sorry, we don't have any cash. Where should we eat in um downtown when we're at Pike Place Market or somewhere around Pike Place Market? And to that I say there's two places here that's not too far from Pike Place Market. Belltown's just a few blocks from Pike Place Market. A few blocks north of Pike Place Market. On First Avenue. Well, these restaurants are on First Avenue, and I'm walking on First Avenue right now. So definitely uh, hit up either Umisake House if you like sushi. And Ohana is sort of like a... I would say that, you know, they serve a lot of um, sushi plates, sushi dishes. But it's like a um, Hawaiian, Polynesian dive bar. Maybe that's how I might describe it. Whew. It's a nice evening. I'm loving this weather. It's been an awesome summer. However, it rained for the first time today. It was a really light rain. It was actually refreshing. Cool things down a bit. Give the trees a little bit of water that they uh, are probably needing. To the left here is the Patagonia store. And this is where it's located in Seattle. It's right here on the corner of First and Lenora. So if you keep going straight, about two blocks or so, that will take you to Pike Place Market. But we're going to head we're going to head east and wrap around the block and uh, head north on 2nd Avenue. I'm going to show you some of the more popular stores here. Not stores, restaurants and bars. Show you what it looks like. You go that way there, that will take you to Westlake. About three blocks that way will take you to Westlake where you can do shopping. That's like the retail core area of downtown Seattle. I'll give you a look. All right, we're gonna take a left here. And walk by some of the more popular restaurants and bars.
I'm really gonna miss Seattle summer once it's gone. Seattle summer is like the best thing. We wait eight to nine months for summer to arrive and then it, summer really, I mean we get about two to three months of this really nice weather here. Temperature will be like 70 to 80, 85 for a good two, two months, maybe three if we get lucky. So don't blink and if you're local, don't take your vacation on, um, ooh, I want to check out this car, look at this car. Wow. That is nice. Whew. That's a nice old school ride. So yeah, if you live here, you're, if you're local, don't blink. <clears throat> and uh, don't go on vacation. Don't leave Seattle during summer because <laughs> you'll miss some of the best weather anywhere. There is a ferry leaving there. And we're going to go this way. Keep walking north a little bit. So currently it is exactly 7 p.m. right now. This is what it looks like at 7 p.m. on a weeknight in late July of 2021. I will say though that if this were a Friday or a Saturday, it would not be as mellow as it is right now. It's mellow right now. Here's a rabbit hole. It's a pretty popular bar, rabbit hole. Yeah, it would be much busier. But my wife and I decided to come here for dinner. We were, we were craving sushi, so we said, hey, let's go to Belltown and get some sushi at Umisake House, one of our favorite places for sushi. CBD, power your mood. And across the street are a couple of really popular restaurants. One of them being Wasabi Bistro right there. Next to that is Bang Rat, which is a Thai restaurant. And that corner there, if you don't like ruckus and that sort of thing, stay away from that corner. There's a lot of trouble there. A lot of people just hanging out and uh, yeah I mean if you want to buy drugs maybe that's where you might want to hang out too but short of that do not go to that corner I was actually walking through there about a week ago and someone was giving me a hard time and I try to I try to avoid all that I don't got time for that so I'm gonna show you what these restaurants look like across the street we ate at Bung Rat a few days ago. About a week ago, actually. Right there. And it was super busy when, oh, yeah, when we were there. And uh, pretty good food. You know, feels like you're in... Uh, it's like a street, street food vibe there. Feels like you're in Thailand or something. So, if you're into... Uh, if you're into that, that's a, that's a good choice for you. Very photogenic, Instagrammable restaurant inside. And the food was, was good. <laughs> it was okay. But, you know, oftentimes when you go to these restaurants, you don't pay, you don't pay to just experience the food. You also pay to experience the, the ambiance and to see and be seen sometimes. Kitty Corner from here, one of the best sushi places in town. 
Shiro's Sushi on the corner of 2nd and Battery. Alright, we're going to cross the street here. And while I'm waiting for the light, you go that way. Several blocks, maybe five blocks. Several is what? Four, three, more than three, right? Four or five blocks. Seattle Center is that way. Amazon's that way. And we've just been given the signal to cross, and we are going to do just that. Cross this road over to the other side of 2nd Avenue. There's Buckley's. Buckley's uh, restaurant and bar. A good place to chill, get drinks. So, I've made a couple of other videos of Belltown you can check out if you'd like. But the last time I was here was many, many months ago, and that was during the day, so the scene was very different. Again, this is a um, it, you know, it, it depends on what time of day and where in Belltown you go as far as is it safe, is it dangerous, what will I see, what will I experience. I mean, I will say that there are some sketchy areas of Belltown, so you do have to be careful. Straight ahead, huge cruise ship, you see that? Yes, cruise ships are back. They are back. They just came back. And that is just, there it is right there. Across the water is Alki Point, West Seattle. So yeah, that just signifies that tourism is very much alive and well. Things have returned to normal to a certain extent. Certainly at the restaurant we were um, eating at it felt like things were back to normal that place was jam-packed the music was bumping people were having a good time I mean it looked like we went back in time a year and a half before the situation from the looks of things from the look of things I do love walking after a meal though. <laughs> Such a simple pleasure. It just feels like the right thing to do, you know? The other right thing to do after a meal is to... <laughs> uh, I won't say what that is. There's another look at the cruise ship. It's just amazing how big they are. Cruise ships look like straight up big buildings <laughs> on the water, on its side perhaps, let these folks pass here. Local 360, we thought this place was open, or closed, sorry, closed, but they're actually open. I think it, when the situation happened, I think I read somewhere that they were closing, they were one of the businesses that wouldn't, that couldn't, couldn't make it. Here's another look at Umisake House. Yeah, I read that they uh, 